Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and I hope this video gives you lots of money-making Forex trading ideas. In this video I want to talk about a very serious matter which is the dangers of using MT4 and MT5 for transactional processing. And you'll understand a little bit more as we move into this video. Now just as an introduction, when a large organization puts in an enterprise-wide system to run their business, they use huge systems like SAP and Oracle and JD Edwards and all those kind of systems, NetSuite. Now why do they do that? Because those systems come with what we call best practice. In other words, those systems already tell the business, this is the way that efficient businesses run their warehousing system, for instance, or their accounts receivable or, or whatever system. So these accounting systems have best practice built into them. And that's a very valuable thing for an organization because they can then just adapt that best practice to their particular or uh, system. If we then look at Major Trader 5 and 4, it really does not have best practice built into its order processing. And I'm going to explain that in a lot more detail. In, in fact, it encourages bad practices. So I'm very concerned about this MT5 and MT4 order processing. And I think you should be aware of the weaknesses. Now, here's an example of the MT4 order processing page. And I won't go into it in a lot of detail, but a lot of you should be very familiar with this particular page. If we then go into the MT5 order processing, it looks a little bit more simplified, but essentially has the same information on it. So let's go through what I regard as a bad practice for better trader trade processing. And believe me, I speak of experience. Now, just to give you a bit of my own personal background, I when, when we started trading, MT4 had the best charts and they also had the ability to write robots. So they were really, really good. But the order processing was so bad that what I did is I actually opened an account with FXCM and I did my order processing on the FXCM system because it eliminated a lot of the weaknesses that I'm going to show you now. And I used MetaTrader for charting and robot writing. Now, isn't that ironic? So one of the reasons for this is if you look at this input screen, Nothing is in the currency that we think of as Forex traders. In other words, no, no pips are mentioned. So, so when you see a, a stop loss, you've actually got to enter the price and take profit. You've got to enter the price. So you don't see anything in pips. Even the spread, although they give you the value of the buy and the value of the sell levels, you've got to mentally sit and watch these things and they change all the time. So to do a mental exercise is disastrous. My first criticism is that everything that's happening on this is in prices and not in pips. Now you need to see the prices, but you need to see the pips that are involved. You want to know how how many pips is your stop? How many pips is your is your profit? I certainly uh, work that way. All right, so the first thing is you can't see the spread. You literally have to do mental gymnastics to try and find out what the spread is because this thing is now quiet on on this on the chart but when you're trading it is jumping around like crazy and you cannot calculate the spread uh, it's just too fast so there's a number one problem with this thing you cannot see this the, the spread in pips Secondly, you can't see the stop size in press pips. I've already mentioned that one, but it's important that you know because, because the pricing is sometimes in points and sometimes in pips, and you can easily make a 10 times error in putting in your price level that you want to have your stop at and your target at. So again, big criticism. I certainly as a trader want to see these things in pips. Then your target, as I've mentioned, uh, also needs to be in pips. 
then the most important thing that's coming up now is if you think of the restrictions that the euro uh, zone has put on its traders, you need to know how much margin is required for this deal. Have you got enough money in your account to pay for this deal? So you can't see the margin required for a transaction. Why not? I mean, you should be able to see that. So I'll come back to the point I made right earlier. Whatever we're seeing so far is bad practice. They are not providing good practice. A trader needs to know this information when they're processing a transaction. So let's move on. So, so then besides the margin for the transaction, you need to know the total amount of margin available to you in your account. Because if, if you only have enough margin in your account to do two deals and you're processing this deal, it is your almost your last deal that you can process. So you need to know you've got $10,000 in margin and this deal is going to take $1,000 of your margin. You need to know that. You need to control your risk uh, because a margin call is very easy to get if you don't control those kind of things. Then the other basic thing that, you, that isn't stated is you don't know what percentage of your account you're risking and this is the, most probably the biggest fall down of all forex traders they have no idea of what percentage of their account they are risking on this particular trade very fundamental and basic trading information you should have at your fingertips when you're processing a deal then the next thing that's not shown you is your return on risk ratio in other words how much money are you risking and how much money are you expecting to get so let's say your stop loss is 50 pips and your your target is 100 pips. It means you're going to double your income based on, on the risk that you take. So, so that is one of the key performance ratios of all Forex traders. And that is not clearly shown when you process your transaction. The next one is you can't add transactional management functions while you're doing the uh, while you're entering the transaction. Now, that's quite important because the way MT4 works is you enter the deal and then you go and add your little bells and whistles. It would be actually be fantastic if you can add a break-even uh, stop, a trailing stop, or a dynamic stop, or any of those type of stops at this particular point. So you can, you can do your whole strategy in one click rather than messing around and going to add things afterwards. They don't allow you to add things like dynamic targets. Now, the time that you're processing your transaction, that is the time you, everything must balance out and be the way you want it for your strategy. Now, this processing or order processing does not allow for that. And then let's just come down to basics. It doesn't tell you the amount of money that's involved here. How much are you going to lose if this trade goes bad? How much money are you going to make when the, if this trade goes good? So there, there's no feedback of information on this particular trade that you're processing. So there's a list of some of the things that we've just spoken about uh, that I think is really bad practice and they have designed this order processing so badly. It's obviously been done by technical programmers and not by real traders. Real traders need to know all the information that I've just mentioned. Really important that uh, traders do that and if you don't need this information, then you are not applying best practice when you are trading. You are following MetaTrader's guidance and using bad practice. I promise you. So we have a problem and what is the answer? Now you'll be pleased to know that Expert Forex has created a Forex trading tool that will eliminate all these weaknesses and maybe a few more. And the purpose of this video was just to make you aware of the weaknesses in the current MT4 trading process. So please use the comments section to confirm whether you really agree with these weaknesses or whether I'm just making them up. Now I can tell you now, every time I process a trade through MT4, these are the weaknesses that I bump into. And the problem is, if you've done a couple of transactions, you start just getting used to bad practice. And then also please add any weaknesses that you may have experienced but that I have not mentioned in this video. So please watch my next video. A link to the next video will be shown on the top right hand side of this video when the video is available.
So the alternative is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be notified when the next video happens. Or just come back to this video in about a week's time and have a look for the link that will be posted on the top right hand side of your screen right now. now I hope I've given you lots of uh, food for thought and I look forward to the comments on this video as discussion points whether you agree or disagree or could add to the weaknesses and, and whether you agree that MT4 ha has a bad order processing facility. When you see the trading panel, you'll be amazed how simple it is and that you get exactly the same information, but it gives you the feedback on all those points that I've mentioned before, which is actually critical to you as a Forex trader. Thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and click the bell. But most importantly, share this video. You can do this in many ways. Message your friends, send them emails, or share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and those kind of places. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.